well, Carl, you're back here in Melbourne. Your team staged another late comeback again. I mean, are you getting sick of it, just having to wait until like the final minutes for your side to stage these comebacks? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, it's um, you know today I thought our boys played really well. Um, um, we just couldn't get um, enough opportunities in front of the goal. Um, we had some good opportunities, but um, yeah, but for the football we played, we need to create more opportunities. Because it felt like first half, especially, you were frustrated with creating avenues on goals, getting a bit more in the second half. What sort of adjustments did you make at the main interval? Yeah, look, we wanted to play um, a little bit um, more lopsided and a bit more heavy for Goody to get more forward. And we just weren't taking the time to to bring that ball to his side so we'd get him forward. Um, so that was a little bit frustrating. But um, other than that, you know, we were fairly, I thought we were fairly comfortable. Um, you know, we had some good possession and, and played some good stuff. Because Kito obviously out, Cavallo obviously out. So was that behind Goody's move a bit further back? Yeah, but yeah, we don't really have um, too many more left-sided players left in the team. So, um, and as I said, um, we didn't want Goody to play like a traditional left back, we wanted him to play a lot higher, but um, we just couldn't um, find the right moments to get him higher. I've got to ask Nestor, he scored an absolute thunderbolt, running lots of superlatives to say about this kid and his potential. Mm. What have you made of his growth this season? Um, yeah, look, it, it's um, it takes time. Um, you know, he is, as you say, he's a very rare talent that we have in this country and it's important that we um, give him time to, to learn and give him time to make mistakes um, because what he can do is um, quite frightening. Because I remember a couple of weeks ago when he did an interview for Channel 10, he also talked about making more effort in training and being a professional. How do you assess his growth learning to be not just a footballer on the park but learning to be a professional footballer off the pitch and what all that entails this season? Yeah, look, it, it, it's a big part um, off the pitch for um, to make it have success, you know, with his diet and how he um, sleeps and prepares himself. Um, and, you know, full credit to the to the playing group. They've um, they really look after him and, and um, you know, I'd say some of the things that he, he does, that they, they're not happy with, but they, they, they provide that guidance and support for him um, because, you know, we won't have him here much longer, so we've got to enjoy him as much as we can. If you can bring out your crystal ball, I mean, how, how long do you think it will be before he heads overseas, Mister? Um, yeah, look, I, I suppose when we look at some of the younger players, that as soon as they get to around that 18 years of age, the ones that have that high quality um, seem to move on. So, um, but it's important that his, you know, next move away from our club is is the right one that's going to help him develop and, and be the world-class player that we, we hope he, he can be. What did you think of the, the penalty, Carl? Uh, the I was brought in, I was involved. <laughs> How did you see it? Um, yeah, look, it's... Um, I don't know. It's a, it's a tough one to take. Um, I think... Um, look, I've, I think I've said it on a number of occasions, I, I just don't think we've got VAR right in this country. Um, it's there, you know, for bad mistakes or, you know, and we, we're we using it far too much. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know why it was even, you know, something like that was looked at. If we're going to look at stuff like that, um, we're going to have, you know, maybe 10 penalties a game because mm -hmm. you're always going to get contacting on crosses and, and stuff like that. Um, so... Yeah, we're making it um, very difficult for ourselves and for, for for people to have enjoyment about the game and just talk and talk about Nesta's goal and not be talking about stuff like that. How can it be um, improved? I guess does the does the instruction from the top have to sort of um, be changed or? Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, you know, we don't we haven't really um, had a lot of um, guidance or you know from the referees about how they what they're doing with the VIR. Um, and I'd, I'd say um, every club and every coach in the country would have their frustrations with it over over the course of the season. So it clearly hasn't worked, I don't believe. Um, and so it's something that we need to have a good look at, um, you know, because this game is um, is a good game. 
I, th I think some good, excellent quality games this year, and there's too many times where we've, we're talking about things that we shouldn't be talking about. It is a bit too much of a raffle, pretty interesting in general, in general, general talk? Yeah, I, I think so. Look, at the end of the day, um, and I, I said this um, before the game when, when I was having a good chat with Paul Trimboli, um, the players also have to take a lot of the blame as well. They um, fall over far too easily, um, you know, trying to con referees um, and, you know, then they complain when it goes against them as well. So, you know, they, they have to take a, a lot of that responsibility as well. I guess does it make it even more frustrating given the chance? You had the chance to go to second tonight and um, that's, I guess, ultimately cost you that, doesn't it? Yeah, I suppose it did, yeah. But, um, you know, I think um, victory in the last couple of weeks have um, really improved. Um, so I, I think... Um, you know what they've what we've got left eight games to go. I reckon they're going to have a have a good push for the finals, and um, yeah, they're going to make it very difficult for whoever they're playing against now. Because today I thought they were were very good. Well, Carl, obviously not getting the win today, but you are undefeated in your past seven now. But possibly the biggest challenge in the A League man at the moment coming for you next week when you're playing host to Melbourne City. Are you getting them as? at a time as good as it possibly could be coming off this undefeated streak? Um, yeah, look, it's important. Um, you want to be playing against the best teams because the, um, that brings the best out of the players. Um, and, you know, we've had some great results against City. Um, you know, I think in the last two seasons, the only um, time I think we've lost to them was in the extra time in the semi-final last year. So... Um, you know, I'm looking forward to it. They're always exciting games with goals, so um, it should be a great test for our boys. Um, as you said, we're in a good um, place at the moment um, and hopefully we don't lose any more players because we're a little bit thin on, with the squad at the moment. So, um, you know, we want to have a good push for the, f you know, to make, make sure we stay in the finals. And today, first ever staging of the Pride Cup. I'm not sure who takes it home given that it was a 1-1 draw, but... What did you make of today's occasion, the build-up to it, the educational work? And yeah, look, the it's, day it's very important. Um, and it's, uh, I think it's great f for our game that we've um, made it so um, public out there that we need to support all communities. Um, and I think it's a great initiative by both clubs to have this Pride Cup. And hopefully, um, you know, I think we've seen quite a few of the games over this weekend and hopefully we can make it bigger and, and better next year. Because I was walking around the concourse today speaking, speaking to some people who told me this is their first ever A-Leagues game they've hmm. attended because of the Pride game. Is that something that you've experienced in Adelaide as well? New fans that have never been to football before brought in by things like this? Yeah, most definitely. I, I think it's important that we... Um, you know, at times I think our game gets a little bit of a bad rap um, and it's important that we um, keep pushing it forward and, and keep doing um, things like this. And just any injury or fitness concerns to come out of this one? Um, yeah, just um, Ben Halloran, you know, he fell on his shoulder so he's got a, um, a, a little bit of a, an injury to his shoulder and, and Popper, you know, from the elbow that he copped has also got a bit of a... He is at, at the moment doing a concussion test, so... Um, hopefully he pulls up from that. Was the the Halloran, was that in the clash with Gary out on the, the far side? Yeah, just yeah. Wet the way he fell over, yeah, so just to extend his shoulder. Cool, no. Thank you very much. No worries. Thanks, Thanks, guys. Safe travels back. Thank you.